Okay, so what I would like to kind of turn to is uh, translation. And so what are overexpressing CERT, CERT2 and 6 within the mice? So is it like 2G, is it like twice? Or how would you kind of measure okay. that? So when we did it, we didn't create only one line of mice, of transgenic mice. Actually, we, did, we created nine different lines, each one of them with a different level of expression of service. Now, we didn't check all of them because that's to finish all my, my budget. But what we checked, we checked like two to three, in some cases even four different transgenic lines. And I can tell you that you can find increasing lifespan in all cases that we checked. There was, we checked it in three different li uh, lines. There was increase in, in, mice, in mouse lifespan in each one of them. We also found that we did the, the protection against hyphae diet. We did it in four different transgenic lines and in all of them protected against hyphae diet. The range that you have higher level of certain six in these four different uh, transgenic lines was between one, the, the lowest one was twofold and the highest one was between four to five fold, so even a little bit more. So we have a range, and in all of this, you can see a positive effect of cert six. Okay, so they all see. Is it dose dependent in in, in a measurable way? Um, I'll be. Um, let's say it this way: it's regarding to the protection. I think there was it was it was dose dependent, but we didn't calculate it completely. So I cannot tell you. You it will be only if you have three fold. It will give you threefold effect comparison to one, okay? Mm. But at least in some of them, the, the, the lowest expression of 36 gave shorter extension of life in comparison to the strain that have higher level of 36. But I, I hope that I was clear about it. Yes, yeah, no, that was good, thank you. Uh, so humans, we're not going to use transgenic humans. So is there other ways to express, to overexpress CERT6 and in particular, any small molecules that you're aware of that would have that okay. effect? In human? Mm. Okay, the, the, I can tell you what we did and what, I can give you some background about what we did. Actually, that would be very interesting. I mean, if you have tried any small molecules in mice and seen how much they express CERT6 and, and any phenotypic outcome, that would be great, yeah. Okay, um, so there, there are several ways to increase the level of services. First, it's to let to be more lean, and I'm saying it seriously because we took tissues from human, and we checked the level of services and the correlation with, to the BMI. Mm -hmm. So we know that obese individuals, there is low, lower level of services. In lean individuals, there is higher level of services. It's not. It doesn't mean that every obese individual will have lower level of cert six and vice versa, every lean individual. But we checked, I think, like a couple of dozens of individuals, even more. And in all cases, it was significant that the, the level of cert six was reduced in obese individuals. More than that, it was in correlation, direct correlation, to what's called the metabolic syndrome. So people that develop metabolic syndrome have lower level of cert six. So this is regarding, to, but how can you, so what are you doing now? So beside diets, so this is one of them. Um, in regard to, to physical activity, what we found that the change, that the level of cell six is mostly not changed under, again, it's unpublished. It's not really changed under physical activity, but the activity is changed. So it's different. So we can now change the activity of cell six and not necessarily the level of cell six. Does okay. this make sense? No, because you have, Cert6 is an enzyme, it's a machine. So the mm. machine can work better. Ah, Not yeah. necessarily, you need two machines to do it. So this is one thing, one way, this one thing that we found. And maybe some other people saw differently, but I didn't see it in the experiments that we did. This is regarding physical activity. So regarding small molecules. Uh, there are several small molecules that people publish that can activate 36. I'm not aware about the trying of these small molecules in humans. Mm -hmm. So I can't come and say that if you would use it in humans, it definitely will work. Mm -hmm. that, that to, to, be, to be clear. Um, also, I'm not sure that they're available in the public, that you can buy on the shelf, this molecule. We, 
out of my lab, there was a establish of a company that is, uh, that is activating 36 and increasing the level of 36. And we have several patterns that it's now in the preclinic stage that we can, that's why I said that I'm sure about what will happen if you do it at later age. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so we can activate 36 later and increase the level of 36 by several methods that we have. And by this, we will improve the, the, the metabolic damage which are related to aging. So the, I'm sure the next step will be to do phase one in human. But we are at this, we are this st stage now that we did it already in mouse. It's called this, the company called Cert Lab and it's established already, it's out of my lab. Um, so this will be a approach that will be ready, I believe, in a year or so. Mm -hmm. This is a more therapeutic approach. So the other approach that I know aware that I'm aware of is something which say you, you maybe you can eat some algae, algae and this will activate your 36. It might be correct. I'm not, I'm not sure what's happened once you eat it. It's, there is a difference if you give it to a tissue culture, then you eat it. When you, do, you eat it, you digest it. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's a different uh, situation. But that's the method that I know about how to activate 36. You can also, and this is, this is going to be very, a lot of, uh, in too many details, but 36 is using NAD. Mm -hmm. Right, so one, and there is a lot, there's, there's a lot of attempts in the, in the public now to increase the level of NAD either mm -hmm. by using NMN or using NR, and you probably heard about it. Mm -hmm. And, or you can eat 60 kilograms, 16 kilograms of broccoli every day, and you will increase the level of NAD, which let's say we are not going to do it. But, but 36 by itself um, is association with NAD is very strong. That's why you don't, that's why, changes in NAD that you see with age will be less effective of, of it because it will take the NAD that exists already from other enzymes. So I'm not sure what will happen if, if you will give NMN, whether this will also activate your 36. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. you, you, I'm not sure yeah. that I was clear enough, but in, in, in biochemistry, you, there, is a, there is a parameter that's called KM. And this parameter basically says, what is the affinity between your enzyme and, and a specific molecule? Now, if I have lower affinity, it means that I, I can bind to this molecule, even if it's a, a very low concentration. And mm -hmm. cell six, it's, it's a affinity to NAD is high. It's very, it's, it's affinity is, is, is in the level that, do, that even at low level of NAD, it can still bind it. That's why I said that I'm not sure if I will add more NAD, what will be the effect of it. I think it's need to be more uh, investigated. So I understand that uh, this the, the company, right? Uh, so may have proprietary information, but if you can share anything on that, um, in terms of you're giving mice small molecules and you're seeing the phenotypic change. Are you seeing, are you looking at how much sex is being activated? Is it like, Twice or four times or okay. how was it? Yeah, how would it measure um, against? It's between two to five. Oh, okay. 